So we saw the action blocks we used in concurrent assertions, we can also use them in immediate assertions as well. Um, so we have here a example where if the property passes, this is the pass block here, we writing message in this case, we could have any non time consuming action. And the fail block is everything included in else. So if there's more than one statement, we need a begin and end just like we do in, in, in any kind of always block. Um, so here we begin and we issue a, a dollar warning and we increment some counter and we cause some event to occur. We, the else box is optional as well. So, you know, we can write a message on it, on it passing and do nothing if it fails. And likewise for uh, the other way around, we can do nothing if it passes and, and then do something if it fails by, by leaving the pass block empty. Okay. So clearly this code here is ignored by synthesis tools because it's part of the assertion. So it's part of SVA.